so tissue today we are going to discuss about the tissue and uh, in the tissue first uh, we will discuss about the epithelial tissue so that's what is tissue the cells work together in functionally related groups called tissue means the cells work together in functionally means this all the cells are functionally same next point what are the types of tissue so epithelial tissue is the first type of tissue that lines and covering the organs then connective tissue which support the organs then muscular tissue that is responsible for the movement and then nervous tissue that is control all these uh, organs now first uh, in this class we are dealing with epithelial tissue and what are the general characteristics and functions so it covers a body surface or lines the body cavity like uh, uh, suppose any cavity like uh, uh, gall bladder okay then stomach okay this is are having the cavity inside so innermost the wall of the stomach that is having the innermost layer of the tissue that is epithelial tissue and uh, uh, if i am saying that covering the body surface so means any organ like uh, suppose intestine okay so intestine is having innermost layer that is epithelial tissue in the wall next is forms the most glands glands are also like uh, numerous glands of the body are found that is uh, a type of epithelial tissue then uh, what is the function of epithelium that is protection absorption secretion and ion transport as well as filtration these are the function unlike you know sir, uh, that in the intestine epithelial tissue is having the villi that is responsible for the uh, absorption similarly in the glands uh, secretory epithelial tissue is found and uh, sometimes ion transport in some organs so this way we can say that the epithelial tissue is very important now it forms the slippery surface also after that special characteristics of the epithelia so the cells may have junctions for both attachment and communication that is the special characteristics of the cell epithelial tissue always have an apical and basal surface that is apical above and basal is lower side then at the apical basal surface both the epithelial tissue and connective tissue contribute to the basement membrane so at the basal surface both epithelial tissue and connective tissue means together they contribute to the basement formation of basement membrane next a vascular means that is uh, no blood vessels must uh, nutrient must diffuse through this and regeneration is the also a special characteristics of the epithelia that is the epithelial tissue have a high capacity for the regeneration next point we can see in this photograph that uh, there are three three cells are which visible or in the epithelium and this is the connective tissue lower to that which is having the capillary nerve endings that is uh, each and every cell is provided by there we can see that the basement membrane is having reticular fibers basal lamina on the basal lamina the three cells are visible three cells are having apical surface modification that is in the form of cilia then we can see uh, that uh, the cell junctions so we can see this is the one cell this is another cell and this is another cell and these all the cells are joined by the junction that is called cell junction so a narrow extracellular space is also provided for the uh, passage of some required material and we can see these are the nucleus here violet color and then we can see this is the microvilli along with the cilia microvilli also there then we can see apical region of the epithelial cell like this and cell junction like tight junction adherence junction and desmosomes and gap junction so these are the different type of junction which is found in the lateral surface modification means we can see that this is the apical surface here this is the apical surface modification on the lateral surface modification we can see junctions are found so sometimes tight junction like we can see in the uppermost region this is the tight junction they are 
tightening the cell on the lateral surface so that no material can pass but sometime adherence junction is also visible here that is some material can pass that is selective uh, uh, material like we will see in the coming class and then a desmosome or gap junction gap junction means all the things which is required to be passed easily with the help of gas jun gap junctions like this we can see so we will see it in lateral surface modification a factor holding epithelial cell together that adhesion proteins link plasma membrane of the adjacent cells and counters of the adjacent cell together cell membranes and especially the cell junction now the tight junction first is the tight junction so the zonula occludens occludens term is indicating that they are tightly occluded means they are tightly joined so intercellular junction which prevent leakage of material from the lumen is called zonula occludens and the border of the two cells are fused together often around the whole perimeter of each cell and forming a continuous belt like junction known as tight junction or zonula occludens and the protein in the membrane of adjacent cells are called occludin protein that is responsible for the junction formation and water sealing that is that is it is water sealing means water even water cannot pass through this kind of junction and it is found in the intestine and urinary tract this kind of junctions are found next is the adherence junction so desmosomes this is also called desmosome that was also called occludens or tight junction here now the name is indicating that desmo they are desmosomes so we can see that the zonula of adherence that is also called belt desmosome means in this type adherence junction three types are found first is the zonula adherence second is the macula adherence and then hemidesmosome so one by one we will see what is the difference so zonula adherence or belt desmosomes and these are the protein complex that occur at cell cell junction usually more basal than zonula occludens and epithelial cells are held together by zonula adherence and lies below the tight junction just as we have seen in the last photograph that is just below the tight junction they are found and there is a protein called cadherin the protein here is the cadherin a cell membrane glycoprotein that is and next point the cadherin form from the adjacent cell interact to zipper up the two cells together zip like a zip and the next point is the macula adherence or that is also called spot desmosomes they are not belt they are spot desmosomes they are found in the skin rumen mucosa for the absorption next point and hemidesmosomes so hemidesmosomes are connecting the cell to the basement membrane means the transmembrane protein of the hemidesmosomes are not cadherin but another type of protein called integrin so means in this case the cells are held together with the basement membrane not on the lateral side that is on the ventral or lower or basement towards the ventral or a basement side so this is the hemidesmosomes now communicating junction third is the our communicating or gap junction that is also called nexus or septate junction so the hormone and ion transport takes place through this kind of junction and uh, the group of protein molecule called the connexin form a structure called connexon and this channel is big enough to allow small molecules such as inorganic ions and other small water soluble molecules pass between the cell now we can see here this as I, I told you the first one is the tight junction that is found on the uppermost region here we can see next is the desmosome that is the adherence junction which we can see here like this and lower to that is the gap junction or nexus through which the all material easily can pass this is the nucleus we can see okay so tight junction in the zoomed image we can see like this they are tightening interlocking junctional protein is there and in the electron microscopic photograph they appear like this intercellular space is completely tighted here now the next point zonula occludens close of the intercellular space like this we can see in the photograph found at the apical region of the most epithelial types like this we can see it is on the apical region some protein in plasma membrane of adjacent cells are fused and prevent molecule from passing between the cells of epithelial tissue so they are preventing the passing of the molecules now lateral surface features that is the adherence junction zonula adherence or belt desmosomes 
anchoring junction and transmembrane linker protein as i told you that is actin trans microfilament of the cytoskeleton and bind adjacent cells along the tight junction form a tight junctional complex around the apical lateral border of the epithelial tissue now the lateral in the next is the cell junction that is a spot desmosome two disc like plaque connected across the intercellular spore that is why they are called spot desmosomes and the plaques of adjoining cells are joined by protein called cathederin as i told earlier then protein interdigitate into intercellular extracellular space and the intermediate filament insert into the plaques from the cytoplasmic site so this is the desmosomes we can see the intercellular space is there plaque is there intercellular filaments are visible and this is the linker protein in the electron microscopic photograph it appear like this now the next is the lateral surface modification the cell junction gap junction that is a passage way between the two adjacent cells let a small molecule move directly between the neighboring cells and the cells are connected by the hollow cylinder of protein as we can see here this is the gap junction and this is the channel between the cells so that is with the help of connexon protein it is forming and forming the intercellular space now the basal feature or basal lamina act as a selective filter determining which molecule from capillary enter the epithelium and acts as a scaffolding along the which the regenerating epithelial cells can migrate the basal lamina or reticular layer of the underlying connective tissue deep to it form the basement membrane now the epithelial tissue apical surface modification we will see that is the lateral and now we are seeing the apical surface on the upper side apical surface modification is uh, forming three type of structure that is the microvilli cilia and stereo cilia so microvilli that is epithelial cell of intestinal tract okay epithelial cells of intestine means intestine to increase the surface area for absorption that is for that what is found microvilli are found in the intestine and cilia that is found on the trachea and oviduct it's the similarly the stereo cilia when very long cilia that is found uh, in the epididymis so these things we will see in the histological photographs so this is the photograph electron microscopically we can see now that the micro villi are visible like this so these are the micro villi which we can see and uh, an apical surface modification the micro villi is breast border which is increasing the surface of area for the absorption we can see this is the these are the cells that is the columnar cells these are the nucleus this is the connective tissue in the lamina propria okay so these are the goblet cells and on that what is we are observing here microvilli that is very small that is not very clearly visible but in the electron microscopic photograph they are clearly visible like this in the intestine so we have to carefully observe the epithelium that is there any microvilli or cilia or not with the help of microscope now in the oviduct what we can see in the oviduct we can see the cilia not microvilli but cilia is visible here so this is the wall of the oviduct in that we can see the cells these are the cells these are the peg cells we will see it in detail later but we we have to observe here the cilia which we can see here in this photograph and this is the lamina propria this is a electron microscopic photograph which we can see the ciliated epithelium like this and uh, non ciliated peg cells like this so here we can see the peg cells are non ciliated but the other cells of the epithelium are ciliated we can see the cilia okay so these small small observation which is found in this circle that is the cilia now uh, in the trachea also we can see the cilia this is the cilia apical surface modification in the trachea that is the windpipe of the respiratory system we can see also here the goblet cell that is useful for the secretion to moist the wall internally and <coughs> this is the pseudo stratified epithelium later we will see in detail about the pseudo stratified epithelium but here you should observe the apical surface modification in the form of cilia in the trachea okay after that we can see the difference between the cilia and microvilli in same uh, magnification so this is the cilia which we can see very clearly visible but the microvilli are not very clearly visible in higher magnification we can observe the microvilli this is the epithelium below that they uh, we can find the other tissue but not dealing in detail now 
but we can see here the cilia hair and microvilli hair now come to the next point that uh, in the in the epididymis in the epididymis this is the uh, cross section to the epididymis of the reproductive tract of the male so, okay so in the testis we know that the seminiferous tubule combinedly form the epididymis that is having had a tail had a body and tail of the epididymis in that region if you see it that the very long microvilli are found that is called stereocilia so there is that is uh, in, in this photograph i am trying to show you but if you observe it in the microscope you can find the difference between the cilia and uh, stereocilia so that is if it is very long then it is called stereocilia now this is the another photograph showing you the stereocilia along with that columnar cells smooth muscles in the wall in the basal cells are also there then apical surface modification we can see another uh, photograph this is the basal lamina this is the basal surface of the cell this is the apical surface of the cell this is the lateral surface of the cell and this is the nucleus of the cell so we can see the uh, this is an animated photograph showing you the difference between this microvilli and the cilia which is the apical surface modification and this is a cross section of the cilia in the form of microtubule so we can see the 9 plus 2 arrangement this is the doublet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and in the middle that is 2 so that is called as 9 plus 2 arrangement of the microvilli now classification of the epithelium referring to the layers so simple it may be stratified or it may be pseudo stratified simple means single layer or one layer of the single type of cells then stratified means more than one layer and false layered means appear to be more than one layer but it is only one layer so it is uh, ciliated sometimes that is with the cilia and it is when we have seen in the trachea so this kind of uh, arrangement we can find and terms referring to the cell shape like squamous means flat cells like amoeba amoeba shaped cuboidal means cube like cell and columnar means rectangular or column like this like this this is the cuboidal and this is the squamous then transitional ability to change the shape of the cell so these are the different kind of shape of the cells now we can see here with the help of some example this is the simple epithelium having basal surface on that we can find the apical surface and okay so these are the cells and this is the apical surface this is the basal surface and these are the stratified epithelium so classification based on the number of cell layers one two three four five five layers are visible that is why that is not simple that is stratified Similarly, here we can see the squamous cells here. This is the cuboidal cells. This is the columnar cells. Okay, so classification based on the cell shape like this we can see. Now, the following types of epithelial tissue are found. Simple squamous epithelial tissue. Means simple means single layer of squamous cells which is found in the alveoli, in the endothelium of the uh, blood vessels and in the mesothelium. Mesothelium may, that is found on the, uh, we can say that uh, uh, on the outermost layer of the uh, uh, luminal organs like intestine next simple cuboidal epithelial tissue that is uh, found in the distal convoluted tubule of the nephron proximal convoluted tubule of the nephron ducts of the glands bronchioles also then simple columnar epithelial tissue which is also which is found in this is here you can see the columnar epithelial tissue it is found in the intestine and stomach so this is having the columnar type of epithelial tissue means the cells are columnar in case of stomach and intestine remember with the help of the examples because uh, later we have to see these things in detail then pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium it is found in the tracheal lining means in the trachea wind pipe pipe of the respiratory tract and parts of the male laboratory tract also then stratified squamous epithelial tissue so stratified squamous epithelial tissue is mostly uh, mouth lining where it is found mouth in the oral cavity then cheeks the larynx that is the first part of the uh, cartilaginous structure of the respiratory tract after that uh, the rumen reticulum and omasum that is the part of the ruminant stomach and anal lining means the things which is in which is in direct contact or where the wear and tear is more that is having stratified squamous type of epithelial cells and vaginal lining also 
then stratified cuboidal type of epithelium is mostly salivary glands and sweet glands we can find this kind of uh, uh, stratified cuboidal epithelial tissue and then stratified columnar epithelial tissue mostly in the male reproductive tract we can find and why it is find what is the function we will see in the coming class these are the some examples we can take idea from here next transitional epithelial tissue which is the found in the urinary bladder ureter as well as female urethra okay urinary bladder means this uh, uh, bladder which where the urine is collected from the ureter coming from the kidney okay so that part is having the transitional epithelial means that is having two to three type of cells in the wall so that is the transitional epithelial cell we will see it in detail later next point now first we will see the simple squamous epithelium so single layer of flat cells with disc shaped nuclei are found here and endothelium is the example that is inner lining of the blood vessels and slick lining with of hollow organs then mesothelium that middle covering lines the peritoneum pleura and pericardial cavity means mesothelium is found where it is found in the peritoneum you know that what is peritoneum that is the uh, wall through which the uh, internal uh, visceral organs are connected with the dorsal abdominal wall no, no. that is the peritoneum pleural cavity means lungs that is connected with the dorsal uh, thoracic cavity and similarly pericardial cavity means the heart is connected with that next it covers the visceral organ of those cavities so cover i told you na that is outermost covering so that is found the mesothelium means that is having the simple squamous epithelium next is the simple squamous epithelium next point the function so passage way of material by the passive diffusion and filtration is possible so if it is a simple squamous then means what means passage of the material by passive diffusion is possible with the help of this kind of epithelium and other than protection it helps in easy passage of liquid and gases and has a dialyzing membrane like in the alveoli what is happening that this kind of uh, epithelium is there so that easy passage of gas means air or oxygen is possible in the blood vessels capillaries arteries veins in the innermost lining is the endothelium so that easily uh, blood can pass through the vessels and it secrete lubricating substance in the serosa serosa means uh, that is the out suppose uh, any uh, tubular organ in the body like uh, intestine suppose it take example of intestine then innermost is the uh, tunica mucosa then tunica submucosa is having connective tissue then tunica muscularis is having the muscular tissue and outer to that serosa that is the outermost covering of the epithelial uh, this uh, tubular organ as well as other organ so that secrete lubricating substance so that it can be moist with the help of this then where it is found location so it is renal capsules means parietal layer of bowman's capsule as we know that in the re, uh, nephron what is there the blood vessels are coming in the afferent then what is there we can find the bowman's capsule like this uh, so blood vessels are coming like this and bowman's capsule is there like this it is forming and then out afferent and efferent artery also like this they are there so in this the blood capillaries are found tuft of blood capillaries so what is there in the renal capsule parietal layer of bowman capsule and visceral layer so parietal layer is formed by this kind of epithelium that is simple squamous epithelium and visceral means inner layer that is of corpodocytes we will see it in detail later next point is alveoli of the lungs we can find it innermost or inner lining of the heart blood and uh, uh, lymphatic vessels we can find this kind of epithelium as well as lining of the ventral body cavity and uh, that is a serosal layer and loop of henle also we can find this kind of epithelial tissue so we can see with the help of this uh, photograph that uh, these are the air sacs of the lung tissue and the L nuclei of the squamous epithelial cells are visible so you can see that uh, darker spot like structure that is the nuclei and uh, uh, of the squamous cells so squamous cells uh, simple squamous cells are forming the nuclei uh, of the uh, that is uh, uh, not nuclear alveoli so squamous cells are forming the alveoli this is one alveoli this is another alveoli okay so this is the another alveoli so that wall of the alveoli we can see it is formed by the simple squamous epithelium so the single layer of flattened cells with disc shaped nu central nuclei and a sparse cytoplasm and the simplest type of epithelium is we can find here we can see this is the another photograph this is the real photograph of the simple squamous epithelium
of the alveolar function that is allow passage of the material by diffusion and filtration in the site where protection is not important and secrete lubricating substance in the serosa location kidney glomeruli air sacs of the lungs which we can see here in this photograph lining of the heart as well as blood vessels and then lymphatic vessels also lining of the ventral body cavity also we can find this kind of epithelium now we can see that uh, this is the real photograph of the simple squamous epithelium this is the photograph showing you the uh, simple squamous epithelium in the parietal layer of the bowman's capsule okay so this is the bowman's capsule in the kidney and this is the these are the tuft of capillaries here and uh, this is the bowman's capsule in which uh, uh, the parietal and visceral layer is there so uh, uh, we can see this is the parietal layer in this way so these are the like this we can see i am trying to show you with the help of arrow for i am ma ma making an arrow to show you the flattened cells so that is the visceral cells uh, parietal layer and below uh, that visceral layer is there so simple is almost lining the wall of the capillary if you see that uh, this is the showing you the simple squamous uh, epithelium lining the wall of the capillary in, as well as in the visceral uh, uh, in the parietal layer of the bowman's capsule as well as in the capillary because uh, in this uh, these are the blood uh, tuft of the capillary so there also we can find the simple squamous epithelium now simple cuboidal epithelium that is single layer of cube like cells with large uh, spherical central nuclei so we can see now very clearly it is visible like this we can see the cuboidal shaped cells along with the nuclei are visible so the single layer of cube like cells with large and spherical central nuclei are visible as we can see here okay this is cross section and other than protection it help in the secretion and storage property so it this kind of cells are forming the epithelium is helpful in the secretion which they can secrete and they can store also this is the property where we can find it so, uh, in the kidney tubule in the proximal committed tubule with the longitudinal striation with microvilli also there at their free border it's called brush border epithelium portion of the small glands and in the ovary also we can find in the salivary gland also we can find simple cuboidal epithelium and terminal respiratory bronchioles and thyroid follicle terminal respiratory bronchioles as well as thyroid follicle is also uh, <coughs> simple is uh, cuboidal type okay so terminal respiratory bronchiole outer to that what is there alveoli that is simple squamous and then below before that we can find the simple cuboidal epithelium and the thyroid follicle are also the simple cuboidal epithelial type appearance salivary glands the salivary gland means parotids mandibular submaxillary like that uh, ling, uh, glands are there that is also having the uh, simple cuboidal epithelium organ of corti in cochlea of inner ear so organ of corti we know that the that is the organ that is responsible for the hearing purpose okay so we can hear with the help of organ of corti which is having the cells that is very sensory and now so with the help of uh, this cell we can hear so we should know that the type of the cell of that region so that is a simple cuboidal epithelial type the cells are found so this is the example we can see the uh, simple cuboidal epithelium of kidney tubules like this so this is the section from the kidney tubules are showing here the simple cuboidal epithelium like this basement membrane is there connected tissue is there we can see very clearly that nucleus are visible so single layer of cube like cells with large spherical central nuclei is visible in this photograph and secretion and absorption is the property and location kidney tubules ducts and secretory portion of small glands as well as ovary now simple columnar so simple columnar means single layer of column shaped or rectangular shaped cells with oval nuclei what is the function absorption secretion of mucus enzymes and other substance then ciliated type of propels mucus and or reproductive cells of biciliary action 
now we can see here simple columnar epithelial cells so these are the simple columnar we can see the location of the nuclei are on the basal region this is the basal region we can see the uh, location of the nuclei on the basement membrane so simple columnar epithelium that is single layer of tall cells with round to oval nuclei okay we can see in the photograph here also some cells bear cilia layer may contain mucus secreting unicellular glands that is the goblet cells so we goblet cells are also found in this layer so that the moistening can be possible in the inner layer of the tubular organ like intestine as well as in the stomach also and the function of the absorption means they can absorb uh, because the intestine is bringing the food material uh, after the crushing by the organ inside the body that is the food mouth is also helpful in the crushing the food okay so the secretion of the mucus is also possible with the help of the goblet cells and the cells of this uh, type of epithelium enzyme and other substance ciliated type uh, propels mucus or separated cells by the ciliary action that is uh, location is non ciliated type lines are most of the digestive tract that is stomach to anal gland anal canal and the gallbladder is also having simple columnar epithelium excreted duct of some glands like cilia uh, ciliated variety lines the small bronchi also okay small now uh, in the respiratory tract bronchial region is having simple columnar epithelium urinary tubes uh, or uterine tubes and some region of the uterus is having the simple columnar epithelium now the simple columnar epithelium we can see the location is non ciliated form is lined the digestive tract with microvilli in gallbladder ducts of the some glands ciliated form is forming the lines of the bronchi or trachea uterine tube also and then uterus and ependymal ependymal cells of the nervous system is also having the simple columnar epithelium so these are the villi which is having simple columnar epithelium we can see in this region okay so these are the simple columnar epithelium of the ciliated type in the uh, oviduct now come to the uh, pseudo stratified columnar epithelium so all the cells originate at the basement membrane only tall cells reach the apical surface and may contain goblet cell and bear cilia nuclei lie at the varying height within the seals and give false impregnation or uh, impression of the stratification so we can see that secretion of mucus and propulsion of mucus by the cilia is also possible here so this is the single layer of cell but due to the location of the nuclei of the different cell is on different position it is appearing that it is having the more than one layer of cell so that is why it is called pseudo stratified epithelium we can find the cilia in the tracheal region that is the uh, uh, from the trachea this photograph is taken so this is the and uh, cilia and mucus of the cells this is the basement membrane now we can see the single layer of cells of the differing height some uh, not reaching the free surface and nuclei seen at the different level may contain mucus secreting cells that is bearing the cilia then function secretion particularly of the mucus and propulsion of the mucus by the ciliary action location of the non ciliated type in males is sperm carrying duct and ducts of the male the large gland ciliated variety lines the trachea and most of the upper respiratory tract now the pseudo stratified columnar epithelium non ciliated type is found in the ducts of the male livrotid tubes ducts of the large gland as well as ciliated variety is found in the lines the trachea most of the upper respiratory tract this is the cilia mucus of the goblet cells we can see these are the goblet cell filled with the mucus and this is the pseudo stratified uh, uh, ciliated epithelium of the trachea which is visible here this is the basement membrane this is the connective tissue now the stratified epithelium uh, contain two or more layer of cells now after the simple and pseudo stratified now come to the stratified so major role is in protection because the stratified stratified is there so the name is according to the shape of the cell of the apical layer is given like stratified squamous epithelium it may many layer of the cell of the squamous shape is found here so deeper layer of the cells appear cuboidal or cuboidal in this case cuboidal or columnar and thickest epithelial tissue is adapted for the protection here so first is the stratified squamous epithelium it is of two type keratinized contain protective protein creatine that located where wear and tear is more and exposed to atmosphere and and friction so surface cells are dead and full of creatine then after that next is this non created non creatinized type 
that forms the moist uh, lining of the body openings and function is uh, protect underlying tissue in area subject to abrasion okay so uh, location we can see it is uh, from the epidermis of the our body and humans and as well as, well as animals so that is the keratinized type no sorry non keratinized type in the uh, lining forming the lining and keratinized type is forming the epidermis of uh, so where is non keratinized it is found in the esophagus mouth and vagina in this region non keratinized type of the stratified is uh, this uh, stratified squamous epithelium is found but keratinized is found in the epidermis so this is the photograph of the esophagus that is the non keratinized these are the nuclei of the different layers of the squamous cells uh, which is visible and basement membrane is this one and then connective tissue is there but keratinization is visible here this is the keratinized of the epithelium or epidermis of the uh, body now this is the stratified squamous epithelium so it is stratified what is it is if it is non keratinized means it is found in the esophagus so we can find in the vaginal region also because wear and tear is more so that uh, the stratification is uh, required so nuclei is visible like this basement membrane is this one okay so this is of the esophagus now stratified squamous epithelium description that is a thick membrane composed of several cell layers basal cells are cuboidal or columnar and metabolically active and surface cells are flattened squamous in the keratinized type and the surface cells are full of keratin and uh, dead basal cells are active in mitosis and produce the uh, cells of the more superficial layer function it is helpful in the protect underlying tissue in area subject to the abrasion like esophagus because we are feeding material and in the uh, come to the stratified squamous epithelium uh, it is of five layers of the, are found in the epidermis okay the, the stratified squamous is we can divide this strati stratification into the five layers and uh, that is the uh, first is the stratum basal then stratum spinosum then stratum granulosum then stratum lucidum and then stratum corneum or stratum superficial uppermost so first is the basal that is rest on the basement membrane this is also called stratum bell pgi and may be cuboidal or columnar means in a lower most is the cuboidal or may be columnar mitotically active this one and this layer gives rise to the give rise to other or layers then stratum spinosum polyhedral cells and are connected to each other by desmosomes means desmosomes mean adherence junction and then granulosum the cells in this layer have two type of granules that is the keratohyaline granules and lamellar granules and this layer is absent in the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium non keratinized means Keratinized means epidermis and non keratinized means esophagus. So, so esophagus may that is this kind of the cells are uh, stratum is not found and it it keratinized in keratinized epithelium it produces the keratin hard keratin is produced by this like hoof and horns okay and uh, as I told you that keratinized is found in the epidermis next is lucidum that cells have the iridin protein and it, this layer is present on non hairy skin only and stratum corneum this keratin is present loss of nucleus is evident it if non keratinized then stratum superficial is present whose cells will have both keratin and nucleus so if it is keratinized then uh, uh, difference is there so if it is non keratinized then stratum superficial is present whose cells have will have the keratin and nucleus next point come to the stratified cuboidal epithelium so excretory ducts of the glands and ducts of the sweet glands okay sweet glands are found in the skin for the uh, secretion of the sweat you know that so the duct of this kind of the uh, glands are having stratified cuboidal epithelium okay so we can see here the example of the cuboidal cell that is in the form of stratified uh, appearance and we can see the basement membrane on the basal region that lumen means this is the lumen of the duct through which the sweat is coming outer surface of the skin so this is the stratified cuboidal epithelium now stratified columnar epithelium so ducts of the salivary gland not sweet gland sweet gland is having duct 
सिंपल सॉरी स्टेटिफाइड क्यूबाइडल बट इन द स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड डक्ट ऑफ द स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड इज हैविंग स्टेटिफाइड क्यूबाइडल इपिथीडियम लेक्राइमल डक्ट ऑफ द लेक्राइमल अपराइटस ऑफ द आई रीजन दैट इज दिक्रीशन ऑफ दू नो दैट दिस टीयर इज पॉसिबल एंड सो विद द डक्ट ऑफ दिज लेक्राइमल सेक एंड लेक्राइमल अपराइटस दैट इज लेक्राइमल डक्ट आर स्टेटिफाइड कॉल्यूनार इपिथिलियम बेसमेंट मेम्रेन इज हेयर एंड स्टेटिफाइड कॉल्यूनार इपिथिलियम इज विजिबल यू कैन सी द फोटोग्राफ we can find it in the male urethra also lining of the male urethra stratified columnar in the female urethra it is a transitional epithelium but in the male urethra this is the stratified columnar epithelium very important question is coming from this section also now the stratified epithelium oh sorry transitional epithelium so transitional epithelium we can see that there are three type of cells which is found in the epithelium first is the basal cell usually cuboidal or columnar after that intermediate pear shaped cells pear shaped like this and uh, with their base is directed towards the superficial region means uh, suppose uh, the basal cell means this is the cuboidal uh, basal cell of this uh cuboidal or columnar type after that they are saying the intermediate pear shaped cells with their bases means this is the base uh, directed towards the superficial means they are in the form of inverted appearance like this like this they are found after that the next one is the after that the next one is the we can see the superficial cell that is dome shaped or squamous or polyhedral umbrella like this so this is the three kind of cells which is found in the transitional epithelium and uh, we can see the uh, photograph here this is the dome shaped cell then we can find the pear shaped cells after that below that we can find that uh, is columnar or cuboidal cells so this combinedly form the transitional epithelium and uh, the function of this is it stretches and permit the distension of the urinary bladder because you know that when urine is filled it become is filled so its stretching is there है ना दो वेन वेन एवर इज द यूरिन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द यूरेटर एंड फ्रॉम द किडनी एंड इट इज एक्यूमुलेटेड इन द यूरेरी ब्लैडर सो दैट द ट्रांजिशनल इपिथीडियम इज हेल्पफुल देयर इट इज फाउंड इन द लाइन द यूरेटर एज वेल एज यूरिनरी ब्लैडर एंड फीमेल यूरिथ्रा ऑल्सो सो वी कैन फाइंड दिस काइंड ऑफ अपियरेंस एंड द रिजेंबलेंस ऑफ बोथ स्टेटिफाइड स्क्वामस एंड स्टेटिफाइड क्यूबाइडल बेसल सेल क्यूबाइडल और कॉल्यूमना सर्फेस सेल डोम शेप्ड और स्क्वामस लाइक डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द डिग्री ऑफ ऑर्गन स्ट्रेच एंड फंक्शन इज स्ट्रेच इज रेडियली एंड परमिट द डिस्टेंशन ऑफ द यूनरी ब्लैडर बाई कंटेंट यूरिन एंड लाइन्स द यूरेटर यूनरी ब्लैडर एंड द पार्ट ऑफ द यूरिथ्रा नाउ कैन यू नेम आई विल आस्क सम एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन वी कैन सी द फोटोग्राफ so what kind of tissue or the epithelium is visible here where is the body would you find this tissue so this is what kind of this is the surface of the tissue this is the basement membrane this is the nucleus which is we can see connective tissue is there so if we can see that can you tell me which kind of epithelium it is yes it is the simple squamous epithelium after that we can see what kind of tissue does this represent this is the simple squamous epithelium after that what kind of tissue does this represent so answer is where in the body we can find this kind of tissue it is the simple cuboidal epithelium in the proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney next is the what kind of tissue does this represent and where in the body you would you find this tissue this is the connective tissue nuclei surface of the cell the mucus is there so we can see the mucus which is coming in the lumen that is the intestine is having the simple columnar epithelium which is microvilli which we can see the microvilli also so this is the intestine with the help of goblet cell the mucus is coming in the lumen so simple this is the simple columnar microvilli epithelium now what 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 kind of tissue does this represent now so we can see that it is appearing that two to three layer but it is actually single layer and cilia is also there so where in the body in the trachea pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium is found which is found in the cilia as well as cytoplasm basement membrane goblet cells are also there and nucleus is also visible that is means trachea now what kind of does this represent so we can see the surface of the cell is squamous cells 
okay stratification is visible here and the layer of the dividing cells on the lower most layer in this visible visible membrane connected tissue is there below that and where in the bo body would you find this tissue so answer is because stratification is there so it is found in the skin because surface is having stratification we can see that some uh, 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 non ciliated uh, non nucleated structure is there so that is a keratin is there that means it is keratinized stratified squamous epithelium of the uh, epidermis region or skin then this is showing you what kind of tissue does this represent observe it and where in the body would you find this tissue the nucleus is there we can find the two layer of the cuboidal cells it means it is this stratified cuboidal epithelium which we can find in the duct of the sweet glands so this is the duct section of the duct of the sweet gland which is showing the lumen surface of the tissue basement membrane as well as connective tissue after that this one tell me what kind of epithelium is visible in this photograph and where in the body would you find this tissue actually this is yes this is the stratified columnar epithelium which is found in the duct of the salivary glands and which we can see here this is the lumen this is the duct this is the basement membrane and the line connective tissue is also there it is found in the duct of the salivary glands as i told you now now the next is what kind of tissue does this represent and where in the body would you find this actually this is the transitional epithelium means uppermost is the dome shaped or umbrella shaped then you can see the pear shaped cell then below that the cuboidal or columnar cells so this is the unstretched condition of the urinary bladder and this is the stretched condition okay this is the stretched condition of the urinary bladder showing you the transitional epithelium this is the basement membrane underlying connective tissue is also there so this is all for the today's class thank you you have to observe all the photograph and uh, it will be helpful in the to understand the coming classes thank you